you know you are not hard. I didn't make a hot chart. Remember, I used to Daddy G Ville's World. What's up? What's up? Uh, you guys wanted to see um, my daily job. I'm a maintenance man. So, got Mike. You guys know him. He's been on our channel a lot, Easter Whitetail Assassins. And uh, we work together. So, We're every doing day. a lot of stuff together. A lot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but uh, every day is different when you're a maintenance man. We work uh, for mobile home parks. And, uh, you know, a busted pipe might not, all, not always be a busted pipe. Sometimes it might be an easy thing by, like, flicking a breaker. Every day is a different day. It's always something new. So It's an adventure. An adventure that we have fun doing. Right. We never get bored. We never get tired. It's we're like robots. <laughs> robots. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time it is because we're always... Like pretty much basically on call. You got a busted water line, boom. We gotta go. We are a jack of all trades and a master of none. None. <laughs> but we'll try to fix it. Alright. We'll try to get it done. You know, it could be a floor, like a weak floor. Yeah. Yeah, we do that. We get That's that. Easy. That's easy. easy yeah. Today, right now, it's a sewer line. Yesterday we did it. Six. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, is, it gave me a headache. It gave Mike a headache. This is going to be a fun day. Yeah. So, Adventure and, time. Yeah. And you see on the trailer, we had to go rent some uh, supplies and whatever. Termite. Yeah, it's a little termite to uh, get this thing dug up. And replace it. And find it. We've already found one break, but uh, there's a collapse in the line somewhere. So now we got to find that. We already found one break, but we got to find a collapse in the line. So that means digging up that entire section of the line. It's fun. And it's like, what, 30 degrees out here, if that? 22. 22. It's 22 degrees outside. My favorite so. round. Right. 22. 22. 22 long rifle. Right. It can hit all kinds of stuff. It goes for like miles. Oh, yeah. And it's like this big. Right. 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 popped a squirrel in his head at 100 yards. <laughs> I did. Knocked him right out of the tree. He didn't even, he didn't even see it. He was just sitting there chilling on that and pop, he was done. Didn't even know it. That's crazy. That's why I'm an assassin. <laughs> they don't see me. They'll, they'll smell me. They won't see me, but they'll smell me. All right. Unless I'm a big dude in a little tree like the episode and watch it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you'll see it. <laughs> Always pick a bigger tree. <laughs> Sometimes you only got little trees. You have to make it work, but it didn't work that day. All right. But that's this guy. So we'll cut to the intro and get to the video every day is different this might be have a couple days in one day or you know into one video I don't know yet but this is day one this is what I do for a living Right, guys right here this was the main problem it was a stump and it's growing into all of these mobile homes uh, sewer lines water lines all that so uh, we're getting rid of the main problem and then uh, gonna get onto the easier nastier stuff by digging up the sewer pipe the trailer you see right there behind uh, uh, behind my it's the one we've been working on yesterday and uh, we got to dig the rest of that line up uh, pull the underpinning out because the lines underneath and <clears throat> we already found one break in the line and uh, had to dig a little hole 
because the line was flooding after we as we was digging the line was flooding with sewage for the hole we were standing in and uh, so I just did a dug a little hole uh, right there underneath the back door and have all the sewage go into it but that way it would clear out the area that we're trying to work in well guys we stopped because we had a hand dig we found a collapse in one of the lines so uh, and it's a main line and we still have to figure that out so I'm betting the rest of these are overflowing too and they just haven't said anything or noticed it or well that one there looks like it's empty so but here is not one of the collapses we had a hand dig it all all that section out we had a hand dig all that section out right there so now we're just gonna clean the dirt out of it and uh, find a solid spot so we can splice into it well it's lunch guys uh, you're probably thinking oh man how can you eat people still get hungry we're human yeah, some of us are bigger than the other people. <laughs> and if I was really hungry, I'd have to eat JR. <laughs> oh. Eat lunch and go get some parts and I guess back at it or something. I don't know. But I'll we'll eat this lunch, guys. Alright, guys, we got three pipe sets. One is busted, it's right here, right on the other side, right on that side right there. I got, it's a big crack, it's where it's collapsed there, but then it's cracked back to here. And then, uh, so we gotta dig around that some more, cut it, put it in, and then uh, come out here, and then we got six feet. Of main sewer looks like somebody's been flushing the toilet uh, but as you see right here excuse me right here but as you see guys my phone cutting off we got this section here to clean there's two sections each foot each section is three feet and it's all busted up so we gotta dig the rest of this out <clears throat> and then uh, place the new line and uh, we're just gonna call. We got more jobs to do after this one. So, yeah, it's fun. All right, guys. It's been a good while since our my last update, but uh, we got the big line down. Now we gotta do the little line. All right. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys something. Don't pour grease into your sink. Don't pour it in your toilet find another place to put it because this is the reason I mean it's probably all the way up in this line but you know we had to do this line it already had a crack in it but when we pulled it out all tons and tons of grease come out sewage I mean it was blacked up then we had to do a huge line this is the little line we done this is only like four inches the other one is huge so don't pour grease in your sinks it's been a while since uh, I've done a thing uh, we just got done with the sewer line probably five minutes ago it was getting ready to leave and then we got a call at this trailer park number two and uh, there, there were some frozen lines here so now we gotta figure out where uh, it's frozen at here so well, like I said, it's always a mystery and something different. It's an always a venture being a maintenance man. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a video. You're getting all hung up. All hung up on imaginary problems. You gotta focus on what's real, man.